This video is sponsored by Omaze. If you want to learn more about what they do, check the link down in the description below or the pinned comment, but you'll hear more about them later. What's going on guys? It's your boy Ethan. Hope you're having a great day. Obviously, we are back at the win for another game. I mean, with how great we're running so far in these two five games, we've got to go for it. But uh, Marg in hand, things should be fun. Trying to hop into the game with the legend Andrew Nimi and Mariano. Trying to hop into their game on the wait list right now, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully a seat opens up and we can mix it up with uh, the person that kind of inspired the whole reason of this channel to begin with. But um, yeah, that's all we got so far. Hopefully you've been enjoying this, these Vegas vlogs so far, trying to grind out as much content as possible for you guys. And they've been bangers. The last video is a banger if you haven't watched it already. But um, yeah, let's get into the hands. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get it. At this star-studded 2-5 table sitting with the inspiration of the channel, Andrew Nimi and Mariano. Here at the 2-5 with 1,500 in stack, one of the first hands we pick up, ace-queen offsuit in middle position. I open things up to $20, and right off the bat, we get Andrew to 3-bet us from the hijack to 70. Action folds to me. This is the very first hand we get to play against him. Obviously, a very good candidate to 4-bet since we're out of position, so let's go for it. I size up to $200, and with ace-queen off, we're off to see a flop when he makes the call. So... Out of position, hoping to see a good one. The flop comes ace, deuce, three, two spades. Great flop for us with top pair. We're definitely gonna put in a bet, so I try $135 for value, but sadly, he quickly folds and gets away, but still winning the first hand from the man himself. These 200 Nimi dollars means more than most. The hand after this, we pick up jack 10 of diamonds in the cutoff. There's an onion straddle and there's an early position limp. I'm gonna raise it up and size up to $50 here given the straddle and limper. We get the button and early position player to make the call. So three ways in this straddled pot. The flop comes jack, eight, five, two spades with top pair and action checks to me. I'm gonna put out a continuation bet and size to 100. The player to my left on the button makes the call and we're going heads up to a turn. The turn comes the 10 of spades, really dynamic card and something that I'm not too well versed in. We improved the top two pair obviously, but when the obvious spade draw gets there, it gets a little tricky. I decided to size up to 225, but when he folds fairly quickly, seems like he didn't have too much, maybe afraid of spades. Not 100% sure what his holdings could be, but I thought that sizing up here just made the most sense. After that hand with ace-10 off suit in the big blinds, there's an only gun open to 15. Cutoff makes the call, and now onto me. Here, it's only $10 more to call, and I think that we can sometimes 3-bet, sometimes call. I decided to just make the call and take the passive route. We're going to a flop. When the flop comes, ace-6, deuce, rainbow. Action checks to the only gun player who bets out $25. We have top pair. When action folds to me, we're not going anywhere. We're just going to make the call. The turn comes the six of hearts, essentially inconsequential as this only gun player doesn't have too many sixes. I check and he decides to check back. Off to a river, which is the eight of spades and I don't think we can get too much value betting here. I decided to check to induce even though we have top pair and our kicker plays. He bets out $75 and as played, not going to go for the check raise, that seems a little too ambitious. Flick in $75 and he says, nice call. He doesn't want to show, so we just show our ace-10. He mucks his cards. We never get to see what he was bluffing with, but still happy to take it down. Quick interruption to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Omaze. They offer sweepstakes experiences for the chance to win once-in-a-lifetime experiences and prizes to support nonprofits around the world. So let's talk about the prize that Omaze is offering right now. It is a multi-million dollar, $2.6 million Miami dream home to be exact, or $1.8 million in cash. Score a sprawling 6,060 square foot sanctuary with seven bedrooms, six bathrooms, and a resort style yard surrounded by lush greenery. A great room with vaulted ceilings and a wet bar, custom cabinetry in the kitchen, space for a gym and office, plus an elevator. It's beyond dreamy. But the location, a quick drive to the vibrant South Beach is almost too good to be true, except it's not. This could be all yours. If this dream house doesn't sell enough for you, or you can just choose the cash prize of 1.8 million, pretty much equivalent to final tabling the WSOP main event this year. And the charity that you'll be supporting is Make-A-Wish America. 
Every 34 minutes, a wish comes true. Thanks to Make-A-Wish America, the foundation that grants game-changing experiences to children with critical illnesses. They also fill families, volunteers, medical teams, and entire communities hope. So spread the optimism. Your support in the Miami Dream House will directly correlate to help fuel future wishes. So to potentially win the $2.6 million Miami home or the $1.8 million in cash, along with supporting Make-A-Wish America along the way, just click the URL down in the description below, omaze.com slash rampage. Sailing smoothly right along into pocket aces in plus one, and there's a straddle. I raise it up to $40 first to act. The player to my left and the player to my right, the on the on straddler, makes the call. So we're sandwiched in between these two players, going to a flop of ace, six, four, two spades. Top set, baby. Let's go. When action checks to me, I'm going to bet out a smaller amount of $30 here. I don't know how much money we can make from this hand as we block a lot of top pair holdings. As the player to my left folds, oh my god, you won't believe it. The player to my right check raises. He check raises to $115. Oh my goodness. Let's go. I am so amped. Given that we have the ace of spades, it seems fairly unlikely he has some sort of flush draw holding. So with that said, given he has very little bluffs, I think he might have a lower set here in this spot, which would be a massive dream. I decided to not slow play this one and go for the three bets. I size up to $300 and... Great news, he doesn't fold, he makes the call. He's got about $1,100 left in his stack and we obviously want to play for all of it. Let's go to a turn, which comes the three of clubs. So some straight draws do get there, but it seems a little unlikely given the action on the flop. He checks to me and now I definitely wanna get stacks in. I'm praying he has some sort of smaller set or two pair combo, so I size up to $550, betting about half of his stack here. So. If he calls, it'd be super easy to get the rest of it in. He thinks about it for a while and sadly folds. Let's his cards go, so maybe he did have some sort of spade draw holding. But here, I'm still happy to take it down. Maybe got a little too greedy, betting too big on the turn. Maybe the margarita that Mariano gave me early on in the session was talking and got a little too aggro. From one premium over to another with ace five of diamonds in the under the gun position, I raise it up first to act to $20. We get Nimi to make the call in the low jack, and now next to act Mariano in the cutoff, he puts in the three bet to 90. Action folds to me, we certainly could play a three way vlogger hand, but given it's Mariano, knowing he can have some light three bets, we're definitely gonna put in the four bet. Given the position we're in, under the gun, we can wrap a lot of the stronger hands in range, and this one's a good can to do so. I size up to a four bet of $250. Sadly, both players fold relatively quickly, but we still take down the $110 in the middle. Hopefully, Mariano will learn his lesson to not three bet me light moving forward. This next hand is a fun one where everyone plays a $25 bomb pot going to a flop nine ways. We pick up five six off suit, and we're off to a flop of 8-4 deuce rainbow. One of the most disguised double gutters that we could have. And when the player to my right bets out $105, about half pot bet, we are essentially open-ended with two cards to complete a straight any seven or three. I make the call for 105 and action ends up folding around. So now we're going heads up to a turn, which is the king of spades. Now on this king, he checks to us. And thinking that we have six high, definitely can't win with that so far. And I don't want to rely on hitting our outs to win this one. I take a stab and bet $250, hoping to just win it here with six high. But he does not fold. He makes the call with about $600 left. So if we hit on one of our cards, we just might have to ship it in and go for it. Going to a river, hoping to improve. It's the Jack of Diamonds, not one of those cards. And even worse... He leads out for $250 again. <sighs> I snap fold. We can't do anything about this. Bluffing makes no sense given the stack depth. It's calling with six high, I think might be a little bit of a punt. We let this one go. Sad to not get there. For one of the last interesting hands of the night, picking up pocket tens and we're under the gun and we're on the straddle. The player to my left opens it up to $30. Our buddy Justin in the hijack makes the call and onto me with a very strong hand out of position, definitely gonna put in a raise and I size to $160, 
hoping to maybe take it down pre-flop or we could win a big pot, but only Justin makes the call who typically calls with about any two holdings. Going to a flop of 664, two clubs, we're out of position on a paired board and against someone that can bluff and play a super wide range, I decided to trap my hand and check. He unfortunately checks it back, so we're off to a turn, which is a jack. Not great a card over our pair. Once again, I just check it to him as he can certainly bluff with a lot of holdings. He bets out $150 this time and facing a half pot bet, given our strength of hand and how we've slow played it so far, I make the call. The river is now another inconsequential deuce. I check call pretty much anything now in my mind, so I just go with it. I check. He bets out $350 and yeah. Not going to think about this one too much. We're ahead of a lot of the bluffs that he can have, so I just make the call. He announces that he has a full house. Wow, I think that's going to be good, and he shows us the 6-4 off suits. What a hand. Nice hand, Justin. What a flop to hit, and way to get all the monies from me. Mid-session update with our boy here. The inspiration of the channel. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for playing. Thanks for coming to. Thanks for coming to Vegas. Thanks for meeting us out here. That, uh, thanks for not winning all the bracelets yet. Not yet. Eventually today, one will be left for you. Hopefully this year, right? We're gonna try. I mean, we made it to the final table. I already feel pretty accomplished. But uh, two final table bracelet finalists. What does that means this year so far? So far, it's a stack table right now. <laughs> So far, lots more to come though. I've Thanks. been uh, I've been proud of you how much work you've been putting in this oh, uh, this channel thing, this poker it. thing, this YouTube poker thing. Yeah, it's because of you, man. Pretty soon you're gonna be uh, you're gonna have more subscribers than me. That's for sure. I don't know about that. We've got we've got a long ways to climb up there, but Definitely I happening. mean, yeah, it all started from you. Literally, uh, I always tell the origin story of how like I lost five hundred dollars immediately playing my first poker session, and then I go on YouTube, type in poker vlog, your vlogs pop up, and look, like, okay, there's a thing out here. We're gonna learn. First, I first I, learned, I saw a lot of B-roll. Your car, valet, and I thought, damn, this guy's rolling in it, valeting in Vegas every <laughs> single time. <laughs> you didn't know it was free, though. Not, 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 not a single time, idea. No, I just thought everyone that used valet was rolling in it. Have you gotten unstuck from the uh, the five hundred dollars that you lost from your first session? Just did it yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, oh, the five hundred dollars. Yes, the ten k punt I just rebuilt oh, the 10K yesterday. Punt. Yeah, I yes. saw that. What'd you think? What'd you think? happen I mean you're, you're firing hard you're uh, you're not you know you're not taking your time you're jumping up at stakes and you're playing uncapped games and things are gonna happen no thought process that's that's good that's a nice way to put it yeah I don't know Did, you said it not me didn't think at all all right sweet well thanks for being on the vlog thanks anytime. for being inspiration anytime all right here we go just wrapped up the session uh, unfortunately we played for a little bit no real interesting hands after our talk with Nimi and wrapped up the session so far um, today, it went okay. Played for a few hours. We were in the game for 1600, out of it for 1692. Look, I'm sorry to disappoint. Not every single video can be a ridiculous five, six, seven K winner. All right, little spoiled from the past few videos, but we came down to earth and had a small, steady win. No complaints from me at all. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Once again, also a big thank you to Andrew for pretty much starting this whole poker community niche here on YouTube. And um, it's been incredible so far seeing everything grow. And uh, a lot of success obviously comes from him. So um, cool to meet up with him. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you made it this far. We got more videos on the way. You already know the drill. I'm here for Vegas for a few more weeks. Plenty of vlogs to come. See you guys next time. Peace. So a big thank you to Omaze for sponsoring this video. If you want to have a chance to win the $2.6 million home in Miami or $1.8 million cash, click the link down in the description below. All the proceeds and donations go towards that, the Make-A-Wish Fund. And thanks so much for watching this video. Thank you to Omaze for sponsoring this one. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.